And we are back with Geraldine Salon right here on Vilma Live in LA. So, Geraldine, yes. the process, <laughs> the process of creating, I mean, I know exactly how you feel because I write music, I write yes. songs. Yes. So, uh, walk us through how you would teach somebody or, you know, your process in creating a, a novel. So, it's never black and white, right? So, um, ideas can come to you in, in different ways. So sometimes it can be through a character or a theme or a scene or a place. So it could be the setting. So, you know, like what happens is like when ideas start brewing, I let it simmer first. I don't jump right away and then write it because sometimes you, it's not supposed to be a book. It's just like a simple thing. So I let it simmer. And then when the, I allow the stories to unfold, but in my case, I'm, and there's some people who are who, who like to write outlines for their books. I don't. I'm I'm a pantser, so I just let the characters. I allow them to take me to their journey along their journey wherever they want to go, and that's how it evolves. That's how the story evolves. And then I start writing every day, every day, every day. So that way, I keep the momentum. Exactly. So after, yeah. It's organic. Correct. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the best. I mean, it's the same way when I write music. It's organic. Yeah. Plus, it has to be something that I live through. Otherwise, I can't feel it. For me. It, it, it's it's an emotional experience. I mean, exactly. writing is a creative expression, right? So, especially if you're... It's not just writing because writing novels is fiction. So, you're, you're actually a storyteller. You're not just a writer. You're not writing essay or, or, or a some poetry. You're writing a story. So you have to think like a storyteller. You have to show them how it's done. You have to show how your characters evolve, how the, the plot unfolds, the setting, everything. So there's so many rules to that. It's, it's, it's really transitioning from just being a writer to a storyteller. Yeah, it's like a director, you know? You yes, as, yes. Yeah, well, storyboarding, because I do that a lot. A lot correct, storyboarding. Correct. storyboarding, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what was uh, the most challenging character that you developed in your I wrote a psychological thriller. It was such a dark thriller. It's called 30 Days of Red. I wanted to really challenge myself. It's like really a mind F, I think you can't say the word, but it's really it was really really dark. <laughs> it was re and and so I just kept envisioning the color red, red, and I painted my nails red. I had to immerse myself in the story, and it was so dark. Okay, and I'm like, how the hell did I write this? After I finished it, when I read it, I'm like, it's the type that it's it makes your hair stand and it sticks to you. You know that type of feeling. And so after that book, I said, I need to write something light. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get there too. Yeah, well, well, that's good. I mean, that's how you grow, right? Correct, correct. Because yeah. in reality, you're, you're an artist as well. Yes. yes. So it teaches you to be more versatile, to, to explore other genres, you know, and, and, and to see what you're capable of. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. So you're writing that. And... You do write every day. So with that character, you were immersed in it. How long did it take you to get out of character and about just like calm down? About two weeks because I wanted to write something light. <laughs> so I, I wrote Midlife Crisis Diaries after that. And that yeah. was a happy thing. That was a happy thing. Yeah, it was like oh. a long <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. So we're going to uh we're going to get back to that in a bit, okay? And we'll be right back with Miss Geraldine Salon.